Hi, I'm Jake. To be honest, I'm happy that I've tried this effect. I really like this end result, especially consider the fact how easy it is to make. You could see similar effect in the matrix or terminator liquid metal effect, which I'll tweak a bit for my next tutorial. And my friend said that it resembles tiniest bit with venom transformation effect. However, for this tutorial, I'm going for Neo transformation into Smith agent look, which you could see on thumbnail to this video. First of all, I'm using standard layout. But if you for some reason can't see any of the panel which I have, you can go to window and enable that panel by the name, for example, character. Let's import our footage. Go to file, import, file. This footage you can download from description to this video to practice on. To create a composition with same properties as our footage, left mouse click and drag video here on timeline or on this little icon to create a new composition and release it. I've decided not to show my quarantine face. This is why I filmed my hand instead. As you can see, it has alpha channel, which means effects will apply only on our hand and not to our background. Later this week, I'll upload a video of three ways to cut out footage like this. Usually I use three ways, green screen, or rotoscoping scoping, or different matte technique. And a bit later you'll see information icon on right top corner of your screen, which will get you to that video. I think it will be helpful for beginners to learn those three ways. And now, first effect which we are going to apply to achieve liquid metal effect is tint effect. Just drag and drop onto our footage. And we also need to add curve effect. With these two effects, we will make dark and black and white colors of our metal. By the way, if you can't find effects in presets panel, go to window and enable it from here. In our curves effect, if you will make this kind of curve in RGB channel, we'll get desired look for this effect. Then let's apply turbulence displays. By clicking here, we can disable curves effect for now to see better what we are doing. Amount of turbulence displays I'll set to like 234, so we would start having this liquid look. And size I'll set to lower value like 16. In this way we will still be able to recognize our footage. Then hold Alt key on keyboard and left mouse click on this stopwatch next to evolution. It will allow us to write expression. Expression is basically a little code which tells to After Effects what to do with selected property. And if we will type time times 150, it will animate evolution property over time. After you typed it, click anywhere. The bigger value you will multiply to, the faster animation will get. I think 150 is good for my footage, but you can experiment with yours. Next, we will add effect called CC Blobulize. If we will open its properties, we can set softness to lower value like 5. Our goal here is to have more details in our footage, so it would be easier to recognize the hand and to have more of cool highlights. Then we can open light property and set light intensity to higher value like 270, so our highlight would pop. Now we can enable our curves effect and check our result. It looks cool, but as you can see we lost parts of our hand. To fill those gaps, select our footage and go to edit, duplicate. Select bottom layer and then select one of the effects in effects controls panel. Then press Ctrl A to select all of them and press delete to delete them. Now we need to apply effect fractal noise. Fractal type change to dynamic progressive, it's just one of the good ones. Then change contrast to 256 and let's disable top layer to see better our result. So basically, now we are mimicking the look of liquid metal, but at the same time, we will give some cool spectral lights. Brightness let's set to minus 33, so we would have a bit less of white spots. And complexity we can set to 3, because we don't need much details. Then open sub settings, and here by changing value of sub rotation, we can get much more interesting look of our white spots. I'll set mine to 245. I feel like it resembles better of our liquid metal look. And if we enable our top layer, we can see it looks pretty good. But size of white parts are too big. This is why we need to go to transform property and change scale to smaller value. I'll set mine to 49. It seems to blend better with my footage. But I still feel like it has too much white spots. So I'll apply curse effect. 
And by lowering RGB curve, we both lower in brightness and adding a bit of contrast to our bottom layer. Perfect. Now if we will solo our bottom layer by clicking here, we can see that our spectral lights doesn't change at all, which looks unnatural. To animate it, we need to hold ALT key on keyboard and left mouse click on stopwatch next to evolution. Once again, we will type expression time multiply 150, which we used before. And now as you can see, we have this subtle shimmering lights animation, which exactly what we want. In this way, we are faking shimmering lights, similar to like if our liquid metal hand would reflect lights in real life while moving. Now we need to select both of these layers and go to layer precompose. I'll call it hand effect and click OK. So now we have liquid metal effect as one layer. Let's double click on it to open it, then select bottom layer and press Ctrl C to copy this layer. Then go back to our main composition and press Ctrl V and set it below. Also I'll delete all effect on it. So now we have clean hand and liquid effect on top. Now we need to make a transition like liquid metal is climbing our hand. Go to layer, new, solid. I'll call it matte. And then apply effect called linear wipe. Set wipe angle to 180, so our transition would go from bottom to top. And now we need to animate transition completion using keyframes. Set it to 100%, left mouse click on stopwatch next to transition completion. Then select our matte layer and press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. Keyframe is basically the point which remembers a value of the property. We can move this keyframe to a start, so value would be 100% as start. And later when I have my hand completely open, we will set value to 0%, which will create a keyframe automatically. We can also select second keyframe and press F9 on keyboard, which will make animation slower at the end. And let's also change feather to higher value like 200. And if we will apply rough and edges effect, it will use the feather value as a source of how tall edge of transformation will be. Edge type I like to use spiky. And scale let's set to a much bigger value, like 170. Or any other value which you feel looks better on your footage. As you can guess, we will use this layer as a mask, which will tell to software how to reveal our liquid metal effect. So let's select our hand effect layer and click on toggle switches to modes button so we could see track matte panel and then set hand effect to alpha matte. Perfect. And now please consider to support my channel by one of the links in description to this video. Or give a thumbs up to this tutorial if you liked it and subscribe to my channel for more VFX tutorials. Also leave a comment, as you may notice I like to read them every time. Thank you.